Hello viewers, I welcome you all from HLT of Tech channel and today we will talk about the administration part of Dynamic 365 that is important for initial configuration and uh, regular management of the system. If we talk about administration, it's available in settings and in settings this part is administration. There are different types of components of administration. The first one is announcements in which you can create and delete the announcements that appear in your workplace area. These announcements are for uh, disseminating important uh, or informations regarding your upcoming products, your launching dates, your discount list, etc. You can also uh, specify the auto numbering in which you uh, specify the prefix number for contract cases, codes, orders, articles etc if we go into the details here you can see that in uh, contracts you are going to name it uh, prefix it as cnr the number will be this and the suffix length will be this so the uh, preview will be like that similarly for cases for opening any case you can change it as well so for example there are three digits cae so it will be available like that so you can also change it as per your requirements similarly there are codes uh, you can set auto numbering uh, in which the preview will be like that and it will uh, go in the sequence similarly you can also talk about the orders you can talk about invoices you can talk about campaigns let's say i name it as cm then it will be like that you can change the articles but the limit is that your prefix must be of three digits you can change the categories i name it as a ctg and you have the knowledge articles here so these are all components essential components of dynamic 365 so you can set the uh, auto numbering standards as per your organization criteria and in this way you can <coughs> deal with your administration part of uh, auto numbering features in, uh, next thing is that uh, system settings you can uh, in system settings module you can set the format for various values such as numbers the calendar and currency you can select the email tracking marketing and customization options for your organizations you can also specify the dynamic 365 for outlook options here here you can see that uh, the general settings are like that there are multiple settings here if we talk about the formats the number format is like that currency time and your current format is english united states you can change the current format to your any of the different type if we go into the auditing you can uh, select the parts that are auditable if we go into the uh, email you can configure your incoming email server you can also change your email settings here there are multiple options here you can see them at your own if we talk about marketing there are different options customization outlook reporting calendar goals sales service and synchronization if I go into the details of each and every component uh, in this video, the video will be very long. So whenever we will be co uh, covering these uh, individual modules and topics that, for example, if I will be covering email in my upcoming videos, I will tell you the details about these components at that point. Right now, we are just uh, having a know-how of uh, the administration <coughs> issue. So the next thing is languages. You can add or remove support for additional languages here. You can go into the products update, sign up to be notified of product updates. If your uh, environment is connected with your uh, internet, then you may go uh, from this page to the product updates. But if you are working offline, you have to uh, install the offline updates. Similarly, there is a Microsoft social engagement configuration. And the last thing is for virtual entity data sources. You can add, edit or delete connection information from external data sources used by virtual entities in the system. So this is the last component of administration. And in this uh, component, you can, uh, it's just like a, a business connectivity services in SharePoint in which you can 
connect uh, or get the information from external data sources so this was all about the administration part if you have any question leave it in the comment section so that i may guide you but uh, remember it is a basic level uh, move, uh, video guide we will talk about details of both about the system configuration in our upcoming classes so guys enjoy watching my videos and subscribe my channel who don't have subscribed yet i thank you all for watching this video